The SR-72, often dubbed the Son of Blackbird, represents the next evolutionary leap in hypersonic aviation, following the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. Developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, the SR-72 is designed to fly at speeds of up to Mach 6, significantly faster than its predecessor. With an intended role in Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance, or ISR, and potentially precision strikes, the SR-72 will possess both tactical and strategic capabilities that could redefine modern aerial warfare. Before diving into the SR-72's capabilities, it's important to understand the foundation laid by the SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-71 was introduced in the 1960s and maintained its status as the world's fastest jet-propelled aircraft until its retirement in 1998. Capable of reaching speeds of Mach 3 Plus, or approximately 2,200 miles per hour, and altitudes exceeding 85,000 feet, the SR-71 could fly faster and higher than any adversary's air defenses. The aircraft conducted vital reconnaissance missions over hostile territories, including the Soviet Union and North Vietnam, and could evade interception through its sheer speed and altitude. Despite its phenomenal performance, the SR-71 was not without limitations. The rise of satellite surveillance reduced the necessity for high-speed manned reconnaissance aircraft, and advancements in air-to-air -air missile technology increased the risk to such aircraft. Still, the SR-71 proved the value of high-speed, high-altitude reconnaissance, providing real-time intelligence when satellite systems faced operational or positional limitations. The SR-72 seeks to build upon the SR-71's strengths while overcoming its limitations. Hypersonic speeds, defined as Mach 5 or higher, are not just about traveling fast, but also about outpacing and outmaneuvering even the most advanced air defense systems. The speed of the SR-72, expected to reach Mach 6 or approximately 4,600 miles per hour, represents an insurmountable challenge to most current missile defense systems, which are designed to track and intercept aircraft traveling at subsonic or supersonic speeds. This increased velocity allows the SR-72 to conduct missions faster and with less vulnerability to enemy countermeasures. At Mach 6, an aircraft would generate temperatures of over 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,927 degrees Celsius on its leading surfaces due to air friction. This creates unique material and engineering challenges as conventional aircraft materials cannot withstand such intense heat. The SR-72 will need advanced composites and thermal shielding technologies to survive in this hostile environment. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, renowned for its ability to tackle such cutting-edge challenges, is developing new heat-resistant materials, such as ceramic composites, which can maintain structural integrity at extreme temperatures. The SR-72's ability to achieve hypersonic speeds hinges on a revolutionary dual-mode propulsion system that combines turbine engines with scramjets. At lower speeds, the SR-72 will utilize a traditional turbine engine, similar to those found in commercial jets and military aircraft. Once the aircraft reaches supersonic speeds, it will transition to a scramjet or a supersonic combustion ramjet engine, which uses the aircraft's forward momentum to compress incoming air for combustion. The scramjet is vital for achieving and sustaining hypersonic speeds. Unlike traditional jet engines, which rely on compressors to compress air before it mixes with fuel for combustion, the scramjet does this through the sheer velocity of the aircraft. Air enters the scramjet at supersonic speeds, mixes with fuel, and ignites, propelling the aircraft even faster. Because the scramjet has no moving parts, it is simpler in design but requires very high speeds to function. This dual-mode propulsion allows the SR-72 to cover a wide range of speeds, making it versatile in its operational roles. While speed is the SR-72's primary defense, stealth remains a crucial aspect of its survivability. The SR-71 Blackbird was a pioneer in stealth design, with its radar-absorbing materials and minimal radar cross-section, or RCS. The SR-72 will improve upon these features, integrating advanced radar-absorbing materials and coatings that reduce its detectability. At hypersonic speeds, the SR-72's heat signature will be enormous, 
potentially making it easier to detect via infrared sensors. Addressing this challenge requires innovations in heat dissipation and signature management. One approach could involve using the aircraft's high speed to minimize its exposure to sensors, as well as advanced cooling systems to reduce its infrared signature. It's also expected that the SR-72's design will incorporate faceted surfaces to deflect radar signals, similar to the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. The primary mission of the SR-72 will likely mirror that of its predecessor, Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance, or ISR. The ability to fly at Mach 6 would allow the SR-72 to cover vast areas in a fraction of the time that current UAVs or manned aircraft can, making it an invaluable asset for time-sensitive missions. The SR-72 sensors and reconnaissance systems will be far more advanced than those of the SR-71, taking advantage of modern electro-optical, radar, and signal intelligence technologies. Beyond its ISR role, the SR-72 could also serve as a high-speed strike platform. Its ability to reach any location on Earth within hours makes it ideal for rapid precision strikes. At hypersonic speeds, it could deliver kinetic weapons or hypersonic missiles with pinpoint accuracy, neutralizing high-value targets in contested areas. Hypersonic weapons, by traveling faster than Mach 5, are virtually impossible to intercept with current missile defense systems, making the SR-72 a formidable platform for both reconnaissance and strike operations. One of the most debated aspects of the SR-72's development is whether it will be a manned or unmanned aircraft. Lockheed Martin has indicated that the SR-72 could be designed as a UAV, benefiting from advancements in autonomous flight technology. Autonomous systems would allow the SR-72 to undertake high-risk missions without endangering a pilot's life, particularly in areas with heavy air defenses. On the other hand, there are arguments for a manned version of the SR-72. Human pilots bring situational awareness, adaptability, and decision-making capabilities that autonomous systems cannot replicate. In complex dynamic situations, such as contested airspace or rapidly changing mission parameters, a pilot's intuition and judgment can be invaluable. The SR-72 could potentially be developed in both manned and unmanned variants, depending on the mission profile and operational requirements. Furthermore, the SR-72's potential as a strike platform could shift the balance of power, as no current or near-future air defense systems are capable of countering a hypersonic aircraft or weapon. However, the SR-72 is not being developed in a vacuum. Both China and Russia are investing heavily in hypersonic technologies, viewing them as essential to future warfare. China's DF-ZF hypersonic glide vehicle and Russia's Avangard hypersonic missile are examples of the global race toward hypersonic dominance. The SR-72 represents the U.S.'s answer to these developments, aiming to maintain its technological edge in this new arena. While the promise of the SR-72 is immense, the path to its development is fraught with challenges. Achieving and sustaining hypersonic flight over long distances requires significant advances in material science, engine technology, and avionics. The scramjet engine, in particular, remains an area of active research, as its operational envelope is still relatively narrow compared to traditional jet engines. Moreover, the cost of developing, testing, and producing the SR-72 could run into billions of dollars. The U.S. defense budget is already stretched by competing priorities, such as modernizing the nuclear triad, developing new naval capabilities, and maintaining a strong cyber defense posture. The SR-72 will need to demonstrate clear operational advantages to justify the expense of its development and deployment. The SR-72 Dark Star is set to redefine the boundaries of aviation, pushing the limits of speed, stealth, and ISR capabilities. Building on the legacy of the SR-71 Blackbird, it promises to be an indispensable asset for the U.S. military in a rapidly evolving global security environment.